again, and welcome to Jim and Dave's Beer welcome Review, welcome. episode number 22. Yes. All right, so Dave, what's our last beer for tonight? Last beer number for tonight the season. is Goose Island Indian Pale Ale. Oh, Indian Pale Ale. Yes. You know, and if you've been watching the series so far, and I know you have, because I told you to, <laughs> and if you weren't, why aren't you listening? We got number 23. Oh, yeah, hey, I still got some left in the last beer. You said, she not a big fan. Gulp it down. Gulp it down. Be a man. Gulp it down. Of course, drink responsibly. Now, <laughs> he's in the confines of his own home. He's not driving. He's okay. I'm not driving. I'm not pregnant. Yeah, or something like that. Could be. Puff. One or the other. The cat's over there. Pop, come here. Puff. <whistles> Puff is a very good cat. Very good cat. Saturday She's over there. Yes. Well, oh, I gotta tell you what. Let's clean the palate. Yes, it's um. So I'm sorry. What did you say? Beer was? I already forgot. It's a Goose Island Indian Pale Ale. It's oh yeah. Our Indian Pale Ale recalls a time when the ale shipped from England to India. That's how they got the name. Were highly ho hopped to reserve hopped to preserve their distinct taste during the long journey. Say I was a hop head. I like the Indian pale ale. The result is a hop lover's dream with hop a fruity aroma Ooh. set off by a dry malt. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm sorry. Middle. Did you say fruity aroma? This is fruity. I don't associate pale ale with fruit. Ever. This is a fruity aroma. Right, I'm sorry. Continue. Okay. Anyway, it's set off by a dry malt middle and a long hop finish. So it was hoppy, fruity, and then a hop finish. The, the food with pairing. Full circle. The food pairings are curries and chicken and pork. Curries, chicken, and pork. What's about anything goes with chicken? Cheese pairing is blue aged Gouda. Gouda? Okay. Gouda. Enjoy within 180 days. Wait, I'm sorry. What kind of Gouda was that? Uh, it is a blue aged Gouda. Blue aged? Interesting. I've had smoked Gouda. Blue, comma, aged Gouda. Oh. Maybe it's blue cheese. Oh, so maybe it's two different Blue cheese. cheese. Blue oh, cheese and aged okay. Gouda. Okay. All right, where's your uh, opener here? Let's go with it. Let's see if there's anything else that comes up on the label. Oh, by the way, take a look at it there. I like it. And, uh, I like it. All right, now I've seen the amp. So, all the labels are very similar. I like I the decide, goose. What do I decide to go with Okay. Recognized as among Affleck. the world's finest, Goose Island's India Pale Ale has a spicy hop aroma. Established in 1988. That's the year. And it's a like fruity blah, blah, blah. 26 years ago. This exceptional beer is one for you, is one you will not soon forget. All right. If you got guys from um, Goose Island are watching, uh, pick a more readable font, will you? Because yeah, after really, I had my fourth beer either. tonight and a couple shots, Quite frankly, uh, my old eyes have a hard time reading yeah, the it's script. Like, it's what? Six point, eight point? Jeez. It's very close to the other. Yeah. Not a real readable font, I gotta say. For beers, right? But I do I like think. the Aflac goose. Aflac. Aflac. I think the Aflac goose is a duck. duck. I know, but yeah. it looks like the Aflac duck. I feel bad Gilbert Godfrey got fired about that. Yes. Hey, I'm gonna tweet, I'm gonna make a joke about the uh, tsunami, tsunami in Japan. Yeah, but. Or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Our best customers are in Japan, so you're fired. Hey, I'm Gilbert Godfrey. And I, I don't know. Kind of reminds me back in the old days when you used to watch um, uh, Pee Wee Herman, who was really good, and I had that really one bad experience. Yeah, let's and whack it off in one up. adult theater, and it ruins your life. Every time. <laughs> they ruin my life every time I... Oh. <laughs> this is a family show, Dan. <laughs> uh, never mind. It's a family show. All you do is matters are well in hand. I meant to say, coming from me. No, wait. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. He's not this is coming out all wrong. Oh, jeez. Uh, all right, forget it. This is a beer review, not something that's uh, double and Well in hand. I mean, uh, yeah. Like, exactly. Well, so, we are doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey. Look at you, Ari Port. I like sorry. the color. Uh, how would you describe that color? I friend? would just. Uh, 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 that is full body. Look at that. Like, copper you're color. A little uh, hard. Copper color, absolutely. Copper color. And I will. I only, I did, I'm doing the beer thing. Whoa! It's Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
That's, that's a new bottom. one. I mean, this is like a three-inch yeah, bend it's you, sunk to and the yeah, it's sunk to the bottom. Yep, yep. All right, you may have to stay here while I drink this whole thing, because quite frankly, now I'm afraid I'm going to uh, die of what? A metal it's going to like drink it. You ever drink a beer cap and get stuck in your throat? Next thing you know, you're going, uh, uh, uh. Just keep your hands big enough to go down, man. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know how to get it out of there. I can use a pretzel. Use a pretzel. It's not beer pretzel. Oh, by the way, as long as we're talking food pairings, I don't know, what did that thing say again for food pairings on this? It said curry, curry and chick chicken. Oh, so everything goes with chicken. Everything goes with curry. Right? Uh, let's, let's make, I think, the best pretzel rods. Pork. Pork also. Pork. Yeah, I don't know. Like Wilhoberg. Yeah. Imagine. Let's see. I don't know. And it won the 10, it won the 2010 yeah, gold no, medal. I don't think that high enough. And the 2012 gold medal. 2012, recent. This is Judging 2013. English style Indian Pale Ale, Great American Beer Festival recognition. All right. I'm sure you're so happy to see me chewing. Beer All right. I'm doing the cow. It has a BA score of 86. A BA score of 86. Booyah! What's a BA? I don't know. Beer Best Anonymous. Best attendance? Beer Anonymous. Beers Anonymous? Um, it's BA. B.A. Is it like B.A. Baracus? Baracus? Beer no, Advocate. Is the Beer, Advocate. No, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate. Oh, okay. Beer Advocate dot com. Beer Advocate dot com. All right. This I one's gotta Beer love Advocate. this dot com stuff. Exactly. So right. much information. All right. Anyway. Let's move along. Anyway, once again, my scale, uh, say Sam Adams Boston Lager, 10. Sam Adams Wheat, 1. Hey. Budweiser, 1. Guinness. All right, so now you have our reference here. Take a little sniff. Oh, lemony. I don't know if I got that. That's a good pale ale smell, though. I feel like I should be mm. dusting. Almost mouth watering. Not quite, though. All right, let's have a taste. Oh, definitely pale ale. Smooth. I could One see. More time, people. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the complex character here. Uh, okay. Dave, you have not historically been a fan of pale ales. I know you don't like Sierra Nevada, and I do. Four point five. Ah, well, I have to go a little nine. farther than this. This is actually a, uh, a. I think it's a very good pale ale as these things go. I. Um, Bless you. As far as our food pairings go. Shot with up. curry. Oh, you're cleaning your palate. Look at him. Well, oh, yeah, no, don't wait for me. I'm going to clean my palate one more time. I've got more. See, look, this is Malibu Mango. I know, but... It's supposed to be a beer review. I've never had that This before. is now a Malibu... All right, and the clean... Salty pretzel. Yes. Mm. This is how I got this man's figure here. Okay? Check out the pictures of him and his... You know, he went to... Are we out of focus? <laughs> oh my god, we're out of focus. You know what? I think maybe with the way I look, that could be a good thing. <laughs> but anyway, let's just blur it out entirely. All right, well, sorry about this. We may have to reshoot. Nah, no, I'm not going to reshoot. Right. Take it as it is. This is a learning experience. We have not fully grasped everything that we need to do correctly. Yeah, and unfortunately, we're shooting this from an iPhone We are 4S, getting better. So, yeah, sorry, it's not better. out of focus. It's probably a good thing. But listen, what we matters is the content, and we're background. having absolutely no content tonight. All right, one more time. Sorry, we've cleaned the power for a reason. One more time. Well, after that, I give it a five. Oh, there you go. Clean the power. Well, I will say, as pale ales go, I don't know if this is one of the better pale ales we've had. I like pale ales. Um, I'd have to say this is not one of the better ones. It's okay. It's just uh, misses that certain uh, savoir faire, if you will, which is French for um, good shit or, or something like that. Oh my God! Family show. Sorry. They're gonna ban us from YouTube. Yeah, because you know there's nothing absolutely R-rated at all on YouTube. Darn it all. Uh, I would say, oh, this is a. Th I find this to be one of the tougher ones I reviewed. Usually, I can come up with a number like. That? I like the label for it, but I give it a five. Well, the label's After. not really original because they've all got the little goose head on here, and it all Not says black. the same thing. What? It's got the little banner on it. 
it's actually rather um, rather obvious. It was like they had a, I don't know, somebody a year or two out of art school, and you know they walked into the art department or maybe to a local um, uh, some guy who started yeah, up his own business, an ad agency, and. It's not very original. Oh, yeah. Like a little round circle with a little picture in the middle, a little banner Mango. on the bottom, with the little, uh, you know, like a little banner. You know, that's that's okay. That's kind of kind of obvious, I think. And there's not a great description on there. Like I said, there's like, a lot of hard people listen, we're out there. Are describing the beer, you know, graphics aside. Okay, I'm a graphic artist, so I feel like very I can give constructive criticism. Yes. Although, if you guys want to hire me for a recall, I like to come down. Work on your beers as well as your graphics. Um, I'll be a beer taper. Although this, uh, I, I was the beer distributor last week. They were giving out samples of this. Now last week we did the whole victory series. I walked in and um, this was actually pe- this? they were giving out samples of this. That way you got it this week. I did. Well, I walked in and I'll tell you what. The guy had four different ones down there, and I asked him. I said. What's this? I was like, I walked in the state stores before, and we have this weird thing in Pennsylvania where we sell liquor in state stores. But beers are usually sold to distributors for a case or more or kegs. And I walked in, and this was the first time ever in a beer distributor that I saw someone giving out beer samples. I thought, well, this is fantastic, you know, because I go to the state store, I don't want to try some kind of before. vodka because, quite frankly, I got to drive. But yes. uh, I said, Seriously. okay, let me try it. And the first one he said was a wheat. And I thought, well, you know, wheat beer. I told you I thought Samuel Adams' wheat beer was horrible. And I thought, oh, let me try this. You know, it'll be the first one I have. So I tried. I was like, this one isn't actually too bad. And I felt bad about this because I said, if I'm going to buy this beer and review it on Jim and Dave's Beer Review, I would like it to be fresh and innovative. But it gave me the idea. I said, okay, boom, next week. I already made up my mind to get the victory. Next week, I'm going to get the Goose Island. And so that's what I did this week. We got the case of uh, four, four different kinds, six each. And that's what we're doing now. And, um, you know, they're, they're okay beers. I will say that. Um, oh, boy, my train of thought just derailed. That's because we okay. did bad things I'm sorry. We're going a far too long. It's 12.32. I see it up here on the TV. Wow, it's running. a long one. This is a long one. Sorry about that. All right, scale one to ten. I five. would give this a five. Actually, sounds pretty good. I I want to give it a six, but maybe I can't. All right, I'll give it a five point two five. People, by the way, all these beers in front of me are not just mine. Yeah, sorry to have focus, people. I see we're really blurry here, but quite frankly, you're doing this for the commentary, not for the way we look. So Ooh, maybe thank we, God for that. Thank God for that. Maybe we just go to black and just have our voices because you know. <laughs> It would sound like uh, James Earl Jones and the uh, Lone Ranger, respectively, I think. Uh, Not! No. Wow. Well, no, it's I did. like me being Johnny Depp and I'm Tonto. Exactly. Yeah. Well, quite frankly, uh, I my voice I sound like Superman, but I hear it play back. It sounds like I'm talking out my nose. I'm yeah, it sounds yeah. like Jay Leno now. Yeah, you know, my beef is, <laughs> my beef is they're going to kick me on late night TV. But that's okay. You don't have to pay me so much. Yeah, he's not that bad. I met him. I met the guy yeah, once. It's actually, that was I took a picture with him. Absolutely. Unfortunately, I was bigger than he was. And it's like, well, yeah, you know what they I know. Say, you hey, you want to look skinny? You hang out with fat shin. people. <laughs> I'm getting no respect. All right. All right, we babble on too long because I know Adrian's going to say, you guys went on too long. You should just get to the point and blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm sorry. I just sorry. disrespect What did Adrian I say right again? There, Turn the channel. You don't need to watch horror. Yeah. Forward. You don't like this? Review. I do. Or our pause and just look at our pretty faces. Yeah, fast forward. All right. Five. Five. And that is this week's quad review of like the four Goose horsemen Island. Back in Guys, the day. I won't mind coming visit your brewery. Um, I like it. Yeah. You know, I got to say, for a case, it's pretty, you know, you guys, you know, okay, but you're not setting the world on fire either. But I was told by the people at the, oh, I remember why I was brought this up. They said, that more people are requesting it. It was, they couldn't buy it cold. Not that many people buying it yet. They don't buy it cold. They, they could put it in the freezer when they... Well, when you, know, you buy it, you can take it home and chill it. But the beer distributor, they're not keeping it cold for no. the extra 25 cents that they charge. 25 so, cents? 
Well, other places do uh, more than that. Some places do a dollar. I thought it was a 50 cent thing over at the, the Korean place that we get our beer from, which is a very good establishment. Yep. No, this place was very a new place. People. It's up the road on uh, Ridge Pike, excuse me for my eye. I uh, forget what it's called. It's a lot bigger, though, than the Korean Are you place. talking about the one near your ha your work? No, 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 no. It's farther up uh, Ridge Pike, Pennsylvania. Today. I'm sure all the people across the country know what we're talking about. But uh, if you were to go up Germantown Pike, getting close to closer to Collegeville, make a right on, oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, doesn't matter where the beer distributor is. But listen, this is Jim and Dave's Beer Review. This We've already gone 1530. Wow, wow. this is a long one. <laughs> Having a good well, time. we got diarrhea of the mouth again. <laughs> All right, well, listen, uh, listen, we really appreciate you watching this. Yes. If you're seeing this on Facebook. Thank you. If you're not, well, quite frankly, we don't blame you for that either. Work in All progress. All right, work in progress. Sorry about the blurry thing. Having a good time. Having a good time. Yes. That's what it's all about. They do the hokey pokey and that's what it's all about.